started working on multiply and divide mixed customary units. We're going to multiply four pounds and three ounces times seven. Before we get started on every single question, we need to remind ourselves, what does one pound equal in ounces? We'll do that, we'll know the conversion rate for every single question first. So we know that one pound is equal to 16 ounces. That'll come in handy when we're trying to find our final answer. So when we're trying to multiply, we're gonna multiply each piece by seven and then see if we need to do any conversions. So we're gonna do the four pounds times seven to give us 28. And we're going to do the three ounces times seven to get 21. If this number is bigger than our conversion, we need to convert part of it into pounds. 21 is larger than 16. If we do 21 minus 16, we end up with five. That means that we have a hidden pound inside that 21. So really we have 28 plus another pound with five ounces left over. Because when we multiplied those, those ounces times seven, we ended up with a whole pound plus some extra. So the final answer is going to be 29 pounds and five ounces. Three pounds and two ounces times four. So remember one pound is equal to 16 ounces. We're first gonna do three times four. So we now have 12 pounds and we're going to do two times four. Say that we have eight ounces. Eight ounces does not make a full 16, so we don't have to do any conversions for this one. It's just gonna be 12 pounds and eight ounces. Sixteen yards and eight feet divided by four. Remind ourselves that one yard is equal to three feet. So now instead of multiplying each piece by the number we're given, we're going to divide it. Sixteen divided by four is four. And eight divided by four is two. The amount of feet we left over do not make a full yard, so that means that we're done. It's four yards and two feet. Twelve tons and 2,800 pounds divided by four. Well, one ton is equal to 2,000 pounds. So if the number we get after we divide by four is bigger than 2,000, we'll have to convert it back to tons. So first we'll do 12 divided by four, which is three. And we'll do 2,800 divided by four, which is 700. 700 is not bigger than 2,000, so we do not have to convert it. So we're left with three tons and 700 pounds. Three yards and one foot times two is gonna equal six yards and how many feet? Remind, we have one yard is equal to three feet. So let's go ahead and multiply. Three times two is six. And one foot times two is two. 
So we have our six yards and we know we now have two feet. Two cups and one fluid ounce times six is equal to how many cups and six fluid ounces? Well, one cup is equal to eight fluid ounces. So we're going to multiply two times six and one times six. Two times six is 12 to give us 12 cups and one ounce times six is equal to six fluid ounces. So that part is good. There's no conversion because it's not larger than eight and it's going to be 12 cups. Three tons and 500 pounds times four is equal to 13 tons and how many pounds? So we're going to multiply. So first, let's say our one ton is equal to 2,000 pounds. So we've got three times four, which is equal to 12. And we have 500 times 4, which is equal to 2,000. Now, 2,000, we just said over here, is equal to that one ton. So instead of this being 2,000 pounds, we can say this is really one ton, which means we don't actually have 12. We have 12 plus 1 to equal 13. And because we had exactly 2,000, there are no pounds left over. So we actually have 13 tons and zero pounds. Five feet and 15 inches divided by five is equal to one foot and how many inches? Well, one foot is equal to 12 inches. So we've got five divided by five, which is one. And we've got 15 divided by five, which is three. So we have our one foot, that's what we got here. And that means we have three inches. Twenty cups and ten fluid ounces divided by five. One cup is equal to eight fluid ounces. So we've got 20 divided by 5, which is 4 cups, and 10 divided by 5, which is 2 ounces. We got that 2 ounces part in our answer. 4 is the correct amount of cups. Three gallons and six quarts divided by three is equal to how many gallons and two quarts? Well, one gallon is equal to four quarts. So we've got three gallons divided by three leaves us with one gallon. And six quarts divided by three gives us two quarts. We've got the two quarts part, so we're looking for that one gallon. <laughs> 